Welcome. Now, in this module, we'll talk about version control for IT assets. Now, there's a lot of benefits of version control, and we'll talk about what the benefits are and the security implications as well. Now, what I've done is that um, while browsing the web, I came across this great reference, and uh, the URL is given on the screen, and I've, I've taken the reference um, material from this link, and there's a six or seven step uh, benefits that are articulated um, by this particular reference, and I'm, I'll show you what that is. Now, benefit number one um, is that organized, coordinated management, uh, by implementing version control, you get organized, coordinated management of changes to software assets by one or many individuals, some of whom may be geographically dispersed. So that's the obvious uh, you know, advantage, that you have uh, changes to software assets which are organized and co coordinated. And the second one is organized, coordinated management of changes to software assets for emergency, hotfixes, routine maintenance, um, upgrades, um, and new features with potentially overlapping development timeframes. For example, work on new features occurs simultaneously with work on routine maintenance and or hotfixes. So because there's a complete hierarchy, you can work on different um, asset versions and those can be done simultaneously. And you can also obviously keep track of them. Now the third one, you get an auditable change history. Example, what changed, when, and by whom. And in software, version control is very important because there's a lot of changes made in one particular version. And once you change the version, then a lot of things change. Uh, security is no longer there. And whenever you change the version, there would be new bugs, new testing required, new validation required, you know, the new version needs to be loaded to production. So in order to prevent mistakes, uh, we have to be very, very careful and particular about version control. Um, and this was the third, the third uh, benefit, an auditable change history example, what changed when and by whom. Number four, a reliable master copy of what assets are currently in production. And obviously the benefit is that that is also being backed up. Number five, a reliable master copy of assets from which to build and or configure the production environment. So it's like a repository as well, and it's there, and we can store, um, you know, we can check out and store the version and then pick it up from there as well. And reliable copies of previous production version of assets. You know, if you require a rollback or if you want to go back, uh, look at a feature or, or look at the software uh, version from a previous instance, and you can look at that, you have all the previous versions. Now, the, the seventh benefit is ability to see the specific differences between distinct versions of a given asset. And, uh, you know, you can do some comparing and contrasting, and you can compare the, uh, the code. And the security controls that, would be, uh, that you require on version control uh, software, for example, a version control tool, you would require access control measures and um, carefully assign privilege um, you know, and, and manage the, the privilege very carefully. Do the access control on role-based access control uh, RBAC mechanism and make sure that you're giving the correct rights and that that is audited also. And obviously, you would also take backups um, of the tool which is performing version control for your software. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.